Hello everyone and welcome to my art studio. My name is Miriam and I'm an artist from Denmark. So today we are going to do some art therapy. And um, can art be that? And I really think it can. At least I have experienced in times of trouble that sitting down and just paint that was just so, so soothing. <laughs> it's a hard word to say. <laughs> but anyways, I will show you what we are going to do. There you go, we are going to paint these beautiful cards. And here's another one. And we will begin with a big size, size A4 uh, piece of paper. And then we will uh, make the painting and afterwards we will cut it into four pieces. And then we will have these beautiful cards. But let's get on with it. So we will begin to just make some bloops of color on the paper. Um, and you can pick any of the four colors uh, I put on the description in the beginning. Uh, or well, it's three colors and a gold. If you don't have a gold, um, just wait with that uh, if you have a gold pen, and then you can put that on later. You could also use a, a golden watercolor color, <laughs> if you can say that, um, instead of gold. But I just like the, like the sparkling part uh, when you use gold. This is the palette I have with uh, different uh, shimmery colors. I'm quite happy with that actually. Um, but anyways, I just put bl bloops of uh, color on the paper um, and just fill the paper out and I allow the paints to bleed together. Um, that will make some nice effects, I think. Yeah. So in the beginning of the video, I talked a little bit about art being a therapy. And actually I found out there's an education as an art therapist. So I read a little bit about that, but that was not what I was talking about. Um, that's a different thing, I think. But what I was talking about is that I experience when I paint that it's like you go into your own little world and you concentrate so much on the painting that you actually forget what's going on. And if you're in a difficult situation, you can experience that uh, it gives some relief from all you know, worries or whatever it can be when you sit down and paint. And I remember once when I was young, I had this big heartache and then I went for a course uh, in the painting I think it was an acrylics course or something like that and I just experienced when I was sitting there and painting that it was like the pain went away uh, at the time when I was sitting down and just concentrating on the painting I could forget about the pain and think of something completely different different and that was i think very soul soothing it was like getting a break from something that was really difficult to be in and this is what i mean when we do art and in a painting like this it's just uh, look at the paint when you uh, go along and where do you want to put this and where do you want to put this and where would you want there to be some more paint and and it's like i think this is quite nice to be concentrated about and it's a good thing and that's why i call it art therapy it could of course be something else as well some more uh, plant painting where you are painting a motive or something like that but i don't know i think this is really nice to just sit and see what happens um, yeah
Okay, so here you see me using a stencil. And then you perhaps you think, I don't have stencils, what to do? I would say, relax. <laughs> Just make some mark with your brush. Uh, I think I actually like having these stencils. They give a nice uh, feel in the painting, but if you don't have them, that's okay. Um, you can make many marks with your brush. And if you have some different brushes, you can use them to make the marks. So don't go into a panic, but you know, just use what you have.
Okay, so I think this painting needs a little bit more. I think down here, and I think I will try and put on some of this or use this stencil. Um, and put some gold in. I think I will go in with some ink pen. Uh, I have these uni pen, uni pen, <laughs> fine liners. I I'm using normally. I have them in different sizes: zero point point five and zero point two and zero point one and etc. So. Um, I also have some gold, that's from Faber-Castell Metallics, uh, I really like this one, it has a nice gold color, I'm not sure I'm going to use it in this, but we'll see. And also some white, I like these, Jelly Roll. I think they're quite nice and one of my other favorites is this Pasca, Uni Pasca pen in white. I think these are really nice. Mm. And then it's just up to your imagination. Um, I think it will make some lines here. be back again once I have finished all the doodling and then we will go on and I will show you how I'm going to use this. 
Okay, so now I have finished all the doodling and this is what I ended up with. Um, and what you can do now is that you can uh, just frame it if you like it the way it looks. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's quite busy and well, it could be a nice painting on the wall with a nice big frame around or something like that. But I am going to do something else. Oh, I'm sorry I made the camera move. <laughs> I'm going to do something else. So I will take it off here and and then I will turn it around and on the back side I will uh, make some lines and uh, because I want this to be in four pieces and it's like two and two one this way so that will be about ten and a half so just make a little mark there and this is so I know where to cut on my cutter and I'll make a line down here and we'll do the same this way this is almost 30, it's 29, almost 30. So I will just put it here, 14.8, I think. I think that will be fine. Just make two marks and then I will make a line. Okay. And then I have this uh, cutter, uh, I think it's called, I don't know the, if it has another name, but uh, I will use this to cut it into four pieces and then I make sure the line is here. Well, I need to cut them just and I'll do it again the other way around so make sure it's in the middle and there you go this is nice oh, I love this and we'll do it with the last one. There you go. I love this. I think they're so beautiful. Um, and you can just, you can use them like they are. Uh, or you can glue it on some cardstock. Um, what you prefer? Just see what way, which way you want them to be. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and of course, remember to put your name on all the cards. We'll do that. There you go. Uh, and here. And you know, people have a really nice um, card and you know, if they choose to, they could frame it. It would be quite a pretty picture to hang on the wall, I think. And there you go, some art therapy turned into some beautiful cards. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in another video. And please like, 
and subscribe if you want to see some more and um, please leave me a comment downstairs or oh, downstairs <laughs> down below if you have any questions at all thank you bye